Annapolis. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, Steve. Can you yeah. hear us? Can you hear yeah. us? Um, we're yeah, this this is real, guys. How cold? Yeah. How this cold is very is it? real. Uh, well, first and foremost, a hearty aloha from sunny Minnesota. The current air temperature is negative 24 degrees. For our Canadian viewers who want to know the Celsius equivalent, it's probably negative. Holy crap, it is so <laughs> cold. It's very cold. I uh, am negative, holy crap. You can't, it, you can't even say the word Celsius in that cold. It just slurs together, doesn't it? Yeah. Every, you know, I will tell you, they say that your mouth starts to get a little bit numb when it's really this cold, yeah. but I've had to jump start my vehicle two times at negative 25 this week. You're amazed that you can still say every curse word with crystal clear distinct. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a modern marvel. You yeah. are holding it together really well. What are you wearing under there? You know what? Uh, I have so I have all the layers. I, I got to tell you. It's, it's dangerously cold out here, but it makes it simple to get dressed because on a normal day, you go into your closet, you look around and say, what should I wear? On a polar vortex day in Minnesota, you go into the closet, you look in there and wear all the things. Just grab, if there's another thing, put it on and then put more on. And if you're a Marie Kondo fan, you know Marie Kondo with the tidying up? Sparks she joy. says wear something that sparks joy. Yes. I would suggest you wear something that looks like it might actually spark. If it looks like you put it on your body. It's so cool. <laughs> um, and now, now the, cool. now the, the uh, schools are closed and the mail's not being delivered. Is that right? Yeah, there's no mail getting uh, delivered yesterday. Also, the kids have been home all week because of the bitter cold, which is really sad because that means that once loving families are turning on each other. <laughs> friends become enemies, enemies become friends. It's not good. No. Suburban homes are being destroyed. And by the way, this is the uh, the St. Paul Winter Carnival where I am. If you just want to figure out how crazy we are in Minnesota, I suppose if you live here long enough, uh, nerve damage sets in and that affects your critical thinking. So I think that's how we started this outdoor celebration of winter, which by the way, has been postponed and events canceled because of winter. <laughs> I think that's irony. Is that irony? Have we finally figured out what irony is? What's amazing is that I'm looking at those ice sculptures and I'm wondering, like, did somebody just hold a hose up and then just sort of, you know, I, I'm not sure how those get made. I know. Listen, they're, they're, first of all, you have to be psychotic. And then you come out and you carve them. There's even one in the back that has a pitchfork which I think makes sense because I could only think the devil caused all of this. <laughs> uh, all right, so but we're told that we've got to get you inside soon, but you have yeah. something you want to demonstrate out there in the cold? Okay, so the last time that I joined you guys a few years back, I had this banana hammer where you can turn a banana into a hammer and actually nail a nail yeah. into wood. Uh, this time I wanted to do something a little bit different. You know how they send kids home in elementary school with an egg and they say, figure out how to get it to drop without breaking. Uh, pro tip for all the kids watching out there, since you're probably home from school, all you got to do is set the eggs out on a Minnesota porch and they turn to marbles and rocks. All right, watch this. Wait. I got oh 18 right here. Gosh. Here we go. Oh. This is delicate. Watch. <laughs> And eggs shouldn't do that. I don't know. Steve, thank you very Steve. much. Stay, wa stay warm. Get inside, please, please, please. Thank you so much, Steve. Bye, guys. See ya.